I'm going to share with you expert advice from the team here at APS on what cleats are available on a sailboat. And I think you'll be surprised how many there are. Uh, I'm going to go through seven types. So this is just a representation of the many more that I'm going to show you. Our first type of cleat is the horn cleat. These are all six inch. They're available on galvanized, which would be used on docks and wharfs. Uh, and then we have aluminum and stainless that would be found on the sailboat. Fastening is going to be using two uh, fasteners going through the cleat, going through the deck, either reinforcing the deck and or uh, adding a backing plate to distribute the load. Uh, if you want to do a better job, uh, you can use this one that uses four fasteners and again, spreads the load out. In terms of use, you're going to find these as the only, you're going to use these as the only cleat for uh, your, your anchoring, um, your mooring, and for your docking. And more classically, you might see them on a boat on the mast uh, used for halyards um, or topping lifts. Typically, they're going to be open through this area, and that allows you to run a line in through the base of the cleat if you need to. Some lower profile cleats uh, will be closed and not have that option. This is a second type. Um, this is a self-jamming uh, cleat. So you notice in this area, uh, it gets really tight. So if I'm having to get something cleated very quickly, I'm tacking shorthanded, um, and I take this loaded line, I go to the far horn, and then I immediately come in here. The cleat is immediately starting to take some load off of the line. And that's going to make it easier for me uh, to continue uh, cleating the line. Next are cam cleats. Uh, these are for lines like uh, control lines and sheets that are being adjusted by hand frequently. Uh, they have uh, spring-loaded cams. They would be either ball bearing or plain bearing inside. Um, they're available in aluminum composite, uh, even stainless. Uh, stainless is generally your high-end uh, or super yacht. These are the more common ones you're going to see. Uh, to operate this cleat, all I need to do is take a line as, as it becomes loaded, I pull it down into the cam, and when I release it, it stays cleated. And to, to get it back out, all I need to do is take a little bit of the tension and raise it. Very fluid action to these. Um, there are also a number of accessories you can get with these. Uh, leads in the front, leads in the back, straps over the top, wedges to change the direction so you can line it up with the load. Um, check out our post if you want to see all the different accessories for these three different sizes. Um, there's another category. This is the double cam. And this is when you have two lines in a very confined space where you, you want to have cam action. Uh, you'll see this um, maybe on a race boat for a main sheet where it's a two-speed uh, two system. Uh, this is your gross tune. This is your fine tune. This post is stationary, and we've got the moving cams here. And I can cleat or uncleat these lines independent of one another. Okay, our next group of cleats, these are the clam cleats. Uh, they've been around a long time. They're very simple. Uh, this is something that you would use uh, for anything utility, uh, for lee cloth, for control lines. Um, the way they work is they have these ridges on either side, and they go down. And as they go down, they get closer together. So I take a loaded line, put it into the V, and as I let go, the load pulls it down deeper. The more the load, the deeper it goes, the more secure the cleat is. So that's an open one. So when I take the line out, it's not associated. This is the next version. And in terms of the holding, these are available in a number of different sizes. So when you, uh, if you have a particular uh, diameter of line that you want to use, make sure that you get a cleat uh, that can handle and hold that. If it's too small, it's going to go too far down and not cleat. Uh, there's just not going to be enough pressure. And too big, it's going to be sitting on top and not get down in there at all. Uh, so make sure you match the diameters up. In this case, uh, same cleat, but it's got a becket, so when I'm done uh, and I uncleat it, I don't lose the line, and I've got a stopper knot here. Say I have something I want to secure occasionally, but I want to be able to stow it, uh, so I want to take the line out very easily. So this is the same. It has a becket, but it's open on the side. So the beckets on these are nice because they can redirect the line that's not coming in fair. And in this case, when I'm done, I can easily take the line out. And these are available open on either the left or the right side. Here's another one. Uh, just like this Beckett, this has a little tunnel. And I can reeve a line through with a stopper knot. And when I'm adjusting this now, I've created a two-to-one purchase. 
Now, maybe I've got a line that's coming in from a really radical angle. So in this case, I've got a clam cleat with a plane uh, bearing roller. And if I had a line with a load on it like this, the roller is going to redirect it right into the cleat. Now, this one's unique. This has the roller on the underside. If you had a load under the mounting surface, you would cut a small cutout right here. And your line would lead through the mounting surface. And this roller would redirect it into the jaws of the cleat. And lastly, this is an inline clam cleat. So if uh, I had an awning or anything I needed to adjust, but I don't want to mount this, I want the line, the cleat on the line, I have this mechanism where I can just change where the cleat is located. And then I've got a two to one purchase right here. Pretty neat. Now our last two uh, categories of cleats, I'm going to start off with the V cleat here. This is a classic solution. Uh, they're usually available in two different sizes. It's a V jam, just a single jam in there. Uh, you want to make sure you're using the right size diameter line for the cleat and make sure uh, that it's a softer line. If it's a really hard, low stretch line, um, there's not enough give and it just doesn't get any friction in here and it tends to pop out. Um, so a little stopper knot keeps it in place. Um, this is just another option. And these also come curved, so you can put it on a slightly curved uh, spar. And then this is a composite molded one. Again, this is a smaller size. Uh, there's a larger one. Just pull the line up, and it's cleated. Common applications, uh, control lines on opties, uh, utility lines, lee cloths. Um, on to our last and probably most interesting, this is the Lance cleat. And it, has, it is a cam, a single cam cleat, which is spring-loaded right here. And I've got a roller here. Um, you can use these for some pretty interesting things. The one that we see most often is on small keel boats. Um, when you're raising the spinnaker halyard, you would have this mounted to the mast just off a center line of the where the line is led. And as soon as you've got the chute all the way up, you would pull the halyard over here and temporarily park the halyard there while everybody's scurrying around and getting sheets. And then when someone gets to it in the cockpit, they can grab the tail and cleat it off in the cockpit. And when they pull, it pulls it straight and out of the cam. Um, these are available with the cam on the left and the right. And in two sizes, this is the large. For this and more information on cleats for your sailboat, visit us at APSLTD.com.